forgiving yourself as well as forgiving other people is a very enriching experience. Throughout life we carry memories of things that we're not particularly proud of or places where in hindsight we wish we hadn't done or said certain things or we find out that certain behaviors that we had or did were not constructive for our well-being. Part of a healing process is to realize that that is life. We learn. And one of the arts to learn, in addition to forgiving other people for the mistakes that they make or they made or how they treated you, is forgiving yourself. And perhaps for some, forgiving yourself is the hardest of all. How could you let yourself be in that situation that caused such unhappiness, illness, stress? Or how could you have not known about certain health risks, for example, and followed the advice that you were given by doctors or friends or whoever? How could you have not been wiser in your choices in life? So to forgive yourself is a prime goal and there are many ways to work on that. Uh, obviously together with a therapist is an excellent way. There are techniques that you can work on on yourself to forgive yourself. I often have dreams that remind me of situations that I'm not proud of in my own life and that gives me an opportunity to consciously thank that experience for bringing me into the wisdom that I acquired through that experience into the present moment. And knowing that were I in that situation now, I would not probably <laughs> make that same choice, but a different one, a more life-enhancing one, a more optimal one for myself and my well-being and for the well-being of those around me. So it's worth doing, looking at, observing, letting go. Just let go.